Hi everyone. Today I have a short video about the website.com website builders text editing capabilities. We actually have a very powerful text editor, which is modeled after various word processing text editors. And you'll find many of the same familiar tools with our text editor. So we can start here from our website editor. And before we can edit any text, how about we add some text that we can actually put some edits on. So I'll use the sidebar over here and go over to add. Under text, I'll select paragraph. And I'll just drag this into place in this black box right here. To start editing the text, we can head over here to the panel box and select the button that says edit text. And you can see the text editing panel appears above the text right here. I'll walk you through these tools. Starting from the top left, we have the font styles option. Now these are styles that have been handcrafted by our website.com website designers. These font styles come with each template and fit the theme of the template you selected. They are also customizable, and I'll go over how in just a little bit. So I can go up here to the font styles option, and how about I select something like page title. And you can see it makes a few different changes there. The next option is the font option. Now this allows you to select the type of font of the text. And we have many different options here, so I'm sure you'll find something that you like. The next option here is the size. It's pretty self-explanatory and just changes the size of the text. So right now, how about I choose something like 36? And you can see it increases the size of the text. The next option we have is the character spacing option, and that is the spacing in between the letters of the words. After that, we have line spacing, and that's the spacing in between the lines. So if I change that here, I can select 1.5. And you can see that the space in between this first line and the second line has increased. Next, we have a few options for coloring the text. So the first option we have here changes the color of the text itself. So if I go here and I select something like a darker gray, you can see that change reflected right here. But I'll use white for now. And this one will allow us to put a sort of highlighter effect on the text. It's called the background color of the text. And I won't use any of those right now. This option here will create a table. And this last option of the top row of the text editor is the link button. So this will allow us to link the text to, say, different pages of our website or even external documents. Starting off on the bottom row, we have options to bold, italicize, underline, or strike out. These do what you'd expect. Bold makes the letters bold, it makes them thicker. Italicize sets them on an angle. Underline puts an underline under it and strike through strikes a line through the words. You also have options here to make the text a subscript or a superscript. And this changes where the text sits on the line. So you can see it raises above or goes below. The next option is important. This is the remove format button and it removes all formatting from the text so far and puts it back to the default settings. The next two options are for creating lists. And following that, we have an increase and decrease indent button. So you can see how that works right here. Then there's the block quote. And you can see what this looks like. It makes the text look like it's sitting inside of a quotation as though someone was saying it. The next four tools are for formatting large amounts of text and setting the margins. So you can see here, we have a line left selected. I can have a line center selected, a line right selected, or justified but I'll use a line left for now. These two buttons here are for flipping the text. So if I press this one, you can see the text gets flipped and goes backwards. So that doesn't really make sense right now. So I'll select this one. And this final tool are your undo buttons and redo buttons. And you can see how those work. They're pretty self-explanatory. Now I mentioned earlier about changing font styles. So I'll show you how that's done. First, I'll use this text I just added and I'll select one of the font styles we have. So, how about I select something like section title? That doesn't really work. How about site title? That works well. I'll just drag that up there. Now, I can head over to the design section of the sidebar and select font styles. You can see right here. I can choose the font style that I just used to customize the text, and I can make changes to this font style. So this is the one that I used for the text. So I can change the font, the size, the character spacing, line spacing, or color. So how about I make it a bit more of a gray color, and I can make it bolded. And you can see those changes are reflected right here. 
The font style tool is a great way to gain consistency across web pages and to have designated font styles for different sections of your pages. To learn a bit more about our font styles tool, you can watch our video that's actually completely designated to the font styles option. So that was just a quick look at the text editing capabilities of website.com. For more tutorials, check out our YouTube channel and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks.